Chucky Season 2 has started production. Let's get into this. What's your favorite scary movie? Everybody, what's up? Killjoy Jake here, and instead of having friends, I have horror movies. Today we're talking about Chucky Season 2. Now, before I get into all talking about all this and like how production has started, we have a bunch of other news to talk about as well. I'm gonna need y'all to like this video and subscribe for more horror content. Alrighty, so getting into this, obviously with Chucky Season 1, we got left off on another cliffhanger. Nothing new for the, ch the Child's Play franchise, as uh, the last movie that we got was a massive cliffhanger that was somewhat, I guess, resolved in Chucky Season 1. But once again, we're on another cliffhanger. Oh my god, there's a lot of very exciting things that Season 2 is hopefully going to continue the story with in a very exciting manner. Now, to give you a little update in case you forgot, it's been a while, you know, since that, that last episode premiered, so kind of give you a, a refresher on, like, what we do know about uh, this next season, is that uh, Brad Dorf and Jennifer Tilly will both return as their respective characters, Ch Chucky and Tiffany, for Season 2, which is exciting, and some new returning cast members, including Zachary Arthur is Jake Wheeler, uh, Jorg, Jorgvin, Bjorgvin, I'm not pronouncing that correctly, who plays Devin Evans, <laughs> Olivia Allen Lind, still another, another hard name to say, Olivia Allen Lind, there we go, we got it that time, Lexi Cross, will be, she will be playing, of course, Alex Vincent as Andy Barkley, Christine Elise as Kyle, and Barbara Allen Woods as Mayor Michelle Cross. Talking about the new season of Chucky, Don Mancini, the franchise creator, said, we're thrilled to start pulling the strings on a second season of Puppet Mayhem in Chucky. Mancini, continuing that, who also executive produces the series, said, many thanks to our partners at USA, Sci-Fi, and UCP for their incredible support and guidance bringing Chucky to the small screen bigger than ever. And to the fans, Chucky sends his still undying thanks and a message, which I'm going to attempt to do the Brad Dora voice probably not very well. This isn't over, not by a long shot. You better watch your backs in 2022. <laughs> I'm excited for Chucky t Season 2. I know I expressed about how I didn't love a lot of the things in Season 1, just because I feel like there's some clunky stuff. It didn't focus on the big things that I was excited for with a, a season of television focusing on Chucky. It kind of felt like it was like Disney Channel ver version of Chucky at certain points, and the first four episodes don't even really have the legacy characters until like episode, I believe it was episode 5, where they really come into the narrative, and I would rather have had a show that focused on, on them more. But now that we have the character of Jake Wheeler and his friends... Uh, we know them more. We, we've gotten to know them. We've spent an entire season basically just like with exposition learning about these characters. I feel like that's something that we can now balance out much more in a season two, which is why I feel like Chucky season two is going to be leagues better than the first one. The biggest problem with it for me was the fact that they didn't balance the legacy characters with the new characters as much as I would have hoped. I really love the narrative that runs through all of the Chucky movies. It's, it's awesome. The fact that the tone can change so drastically between all of the different uh, movies and still have a consistent narrative through like all those films, that's insane. I, I don't know too many other horror franchises that have done that and also have shifted in tone in so many different directions, going full-blown comedy at times opposed to like the horror roots it started from. I think it's so it's crazy. It's it's really an impressive franchise as a whole, and I would that was a big thing I was excited for with the television series was continuing that narrative, which it does for the most part, but really focuses on the new characters much much more. But now I feel like that we've gotten to know these characters, we can kind of balance it out a little bit and focus on both parties, the legacy characters and the new characters. And honestly, in a lot of ways, I do kind of respect Don Mancini for putting a focus on the new characters. He had a lot of faith in these characters, which is awesome, and they're not just like throw in stand in characters to be like relatable to a younger audience he really developed these characters and gave them great relationships with each other and like you can you like Lexi for example has like the great like a really good character arc throughout the entire season starting off as a character you just want to like absolutely strangle to death and by the end you're like oh my god she's my favorite character this is crazy so I have to admit that's very well written I just think the balance was completely off with that first season that that was the biggest problem for me and season two can very seamlessly fix that in a in a very easy manner and I'm very excited for it. I think it's going to be even better than season one, like I said. Another thing I loved about season one that I hope season two continues with and just kind of rolls with this idea, telling us more stories from Charles Charles Lee Ray's backstory. That was one of the coolest things about the new season of, of, of Chucky 
season one. That was awesome. I, I loved telling that whole story and learning much more about the character before he became the killer doll. Very well done. I hope we get to learn more things about his backstory in season two as well. But what do you guys think? Are you excited for Chucky season two? Not so much. I don't know. What, what do you guys think? Leave me something about it in the comments below. I'm very pumped for it, honestly. I know I, like I said, I know I wasn't like super impressed with season one, but I think season two is going to be way better. It's going to be, ama it's going to be amazing. I'm, I'm predicting, I'm saying it now, predicting it here. Chucky season two is going to be a must watch. So what do you guys think? Leave me something about it in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching this new Chucky season two update. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more horror content. Also, if you want to support this channel even further, I have a Patreon and a channel membership. It's exactly the same thing. Wherever you want to join, that's, that's great. You get an extra video every single week. And if you support me at some of the higher tiers, you get even more stuff like behind the scenes information on my movie that comes out in December, Red Right Hand, a Scream fan film. So thank you guys so much for watching this new video. And as always, don't forget to kill it out there, y'all. Thank you.